I'm going to be getting a haircut. It's a B today. I'm gonna to be getting a haircut. Exciting things um, here at Center Guys. So let's go. So today's a gorgeous day here in Kobe, and I'm walking through the Center Street right by Sanomiya Station, JR. The salon is not too far from the station. Walking up through the street, and I'll show you where it is. I'm pretty nervous about getting my hair cut, you guys, because. In Japan, not a lot of people know how to deal with curly hair. But this place that I'm going to, they've straightened out my hair before and they've done cornrows. So we'll see. This is the first time they're going to be cutting my hair. I brought a lot of pictures as a reference for them. So, But they deal with a lot of foreigners and they speak English. So hoping for the best. Yeah, just ready for a bit of a change. So we'll see how it goes. Here we are at Billy's, not too far from Tanamiya. They're on the fourth floor of this building here, on this cute little street. There's a Mother Moon Cafe at the end. So that's like the center street of Tanamiya, and it's like right off here. It's right next to this hotel over here. Here we go, you guys. So this is before, isn't it? Super long. Yeah. Okay. We go. Yeah. That's from the hair. Actually, it doesn't look. You know, because it's so curly. That's why. All right. So haircut done. What do you think? She cut a whole bunch. It was like super long, but now she cut it here. So I think it's cute uh, for the summer. Not bad. Yeah. Alright, I am really loving this new haircut, you guys. Like, woo. I feel so free. I'm walking down, uh, back down Center Guy Street. It's just street after street after street of shopping. It goes all the way down here. Here is a three coins shop, 300 yen stuff. And right next to it is Daiso, which is 100 yen. Everything in the store is 100 yen. This guy is always positioning to uh, donate your blood. Okay, I am so loving my haircut. So this is Ikuta Road, marked by this Tori Gate. And if you walk all the way down, down the street, you're gonna hit Ikuta Shrine. There's a pretty good ramen shop right here. This is the place to get takoyaki. Takoyaki in Kobe, oishi. One of the things I just absolutely love about Kobe, wherever you go, you can always see the mountains. Mountains are always visible. The north is always mountains, so you can never, ever get lost in Kobe. And I am one to get lost, so. That is saying a lot. Really yummy steak place right here. Right next to the subway, Sanomiya Station. On the corner here, there's a uh, Tokyo Hands. Tokyo Hands is where you can get everything. That we're going down the street next to Tokyo Hands goes up to the shrine, the main shrine here in 
Kobe's. Literally straight up from the street right here and you just, you can't miss it. Heading to the shrine. Trying, walking into the orange one. Usually right at the entrance as well, you can buy some fortune slips from the staff here, the maidens. This is the main hall here. When you enter, there's always going to be a place to wash your hands and to symbolically cleanse yourself. And they have directions on how to do it. I really like this shrine. It's cute. It's very local. It's very much part of Kobe and it's not too overwhelming I think it's really cute and in 8806 44 Kambe or court officials who served the shrines were sent by the court to serve at this shrine and it's from there that the word Kobe comes from Kambe Kobe Another main point is that this shrine has survived a war. In 1184, it survived. There was a great flooding in uh, 1938. And also the, the World War II bombings in 1945 and the great Hanshin earthquake in 1995. So a lot of people come here because this place has survived so much. And there's a lot of stuff that has stayed uh, intact such as the trees in, in the back of the shrine, and they're huge and they've survived this whole time. So it's a nice place for people to just get away from the city. It's right near the middle of the city, so it's a nice place to be around nature and just have a little bit of peace. I really like going to, I don't really like going to that part of the shrines to be honest I feel like it's a little bit intrusive I way there and we're just going to this little tiny forest park it's huge I don't know if you can really tell I think this tree is really old old camper trees you'll see here a lot of people put their wishes for love this is a very popular place for people wishing for love and something that's interesting is the shrine is of the sun goddess, Amaterasu Omikami. Uh, so she's the goddess of giving birth to all that is young, dewy, and vital. Uh, so yeah, so when you're tired of shopping, I definitely suggest coming here and just taking a little walk about chilling out, listening to the water. I just enjoy spaces in cities where one can just be still. And in Japan, it's a lot of walking. So you gotta make time to relax and not like overspend your energy. I'm gonna be heading back home. Thanks for hanging out with me today a little bit. Um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed my video, subscribe for more fun adventures here in Kobe and beyond. See you.